the previous video, I went back to Wales to help my uncle with his Nissan Qashqai. We put the car onto a diagnostic tool and discovered that the glow plug needed changing. So I jumped straight in and changed all four glow plugs. To see how I got on, click on the card on the top right corner. Let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to the channel. We're in Wales again, fixing my uncle's Nissan Qashqai. We were lucky enough this time to borrow a little workshop, so thanks to Richard for that. Shout out to Richard for letting us borrow that. Uh, but yeah, let's get on to this. So what are we doing today? Got all the stuff that we needed. So here's the stereo. We've got the brake pads and discs. Same again then, that's the lower arm. And the, that's the dry shaft. Um, I think what we're going to do is make it into three episodes. So I'll probably do the breaks today. We'll see how I go with time, but we've got, we've got the workshop for two days. Well, today and tomorrow, which is very helpful. Um, yeah, so let's get on with it. Okay, so we're doing a cut in here. Uh, it's not too bad, it's got a bit of a lip, but I mean a little, little one. But that could probably come off with the uh, white brush. Same with the brake pads. If you can see in this angle, it's not too bad. And then the drive shaft, see that looks alright, but it's just the end, that's what's crumpled all up. Yeah, I'm not happy with that, so we're going to have to sort that out as well. Yeah, so we'll get on with it. So, oh, first time of trouble already. That was the 12 mil to get off. As you can see down the bottom, 12 mil don't fit it. So, right, okay. So the other one, what was the other one I just got? Yeah, 12 mil. Right, hopefully, this is a trick. So we've had the first casualty, that's the extender, let's make it a short one, having issues with this, yeah, having issues taking this bolt off, this one. Yeah, finally got it loosened. I would have broke one of my connectors. But yeah. It's a half a professional one, so I should be able to get them replaced if I can find the receipt. Let's get back onto it.
that's it all off now. So, let's get the disc off. Get the pair housing and the pads. Yeah. Let's clean this up then. Good. And we've got the brake pads as well, which we here. Let's get them on. Well, that goes back now in reverse. If you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing and turning on your notifications so you never miss any of my videos. back so we can get the caliper on so I don't know and it just needs to push it so it just needs something heavy I should do this trick anyway hopefully yeah that went back pretty easy just by keeping the pressure on there and it's going back as you can see Front ones are normally are easier, the rear ones are a bit of a pain, which you'll find out later in the video. Yeah, so we're back again for day two. I'm just gonna finish off the other side. Because I started off with the back brakes in the front. But let's see how much we've got left to do. Yeah, so look, all new pads and discs. Same again on this one. I do think I have to check it now, because it's got a bit of rubbing. Other than that, let's just get to it. This bolt is giving me issues. It doesn't want to come out. It's not exactly a massive bolt. There's only a bit of thread on it. So, might be, might be just seized on it. 
It might need a little whack to get it off. But I'll give it a, keep giving it a go. I still can't get it off. It's just loose to stock there. I'll be able to reverse it and get it on, on get all the pads on and everything like that. But moving forward, I think you'll have to buy. Yeah, you'll just have to buy the new whole housing. Which I'll do in another video. Unfortunately, this is where I ran out of time lapse video. The power cable came out of the external power unit, so I lost some footage. There isn't much left to do now, so I'll just add the remaining POV shots. Got the pads here. Okay. Yeah, so that's been cleaned up. As best as I can. I can reverse it, but it's probably going to need. Uh, a new caliper housing and a new caliper which you would take off by here then that's a whole nother story we don't have one with us so I can try and like reverse engineer it so I'll put the new brake pads in here put it back in tighten this one up first and just see how we get on with that if I can't do it like that then I'll probably have to go and get, get him a caliper straight away. But I don't think anyone's open on a Sunday. So yeah, let's try that. Got the disc back on now. And all oh, this is done as well. It's all gone back in good. Yeah, you can see it now. All gone back in good. It's just that one stuck. It does work and it fully works and it's safe and everything like that. But it's just a pain in the ass just to get the rest of it off. So I'll let him know that he's going to have to change the caliper, housing and caliper. But yeah. Let's get the wheel back on. So that's it then. The back brakes and pads are done. I'm going to do the front side now, but I won't add them shots as you've already seen it done on the other side. So I'll do the other side, drop the car down and then take it back to my uncle. Yeah, so that's all for this video. Got the brakes done and then got the brake pads done as well. I wanted to get the stereo done, but I've run out of time because I have to run back to Birmingham. And yeah, so I'll, I'll be back down here in another video. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on with the channel, so make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you'll get an update. Um, in the next video, I'm going to be doing the car, uh, stereo, I say, right an aftermarket one. Hopefully, the connectors that's in there will work because I think there was one in there last time um, so I'm just hoping it's plug and play uh, but if there isn't there'll be some work I need to do 
big shout out to Richard again for letting us use the workshop really helpful so yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to smash the like button and consider subscribing catch you guys in the next one